Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a great week. So in today's video, I really wanted to do a Madison Beer inspired makeup and hair tutorial. I have been so obsessed with Madison Beer lately. Her new album is dropping in eight days. How exciting. She is such a talented singer and songwriter and she is an influencer as well and she's big on TikTok. Her songs are amazing. Her voice is amazing. She looks so beautiful. She always seems to spark up jealousy and controversy online because people are just so damn jealous of how she looks like so here is Vanessa Beer she is just perfect in every way perfect face oh my gosh she's just like an angel um, I've been obsessed with her ever since discovering her in December um, when I was on holiday and I really got into TikTok um, so yeah and if you guys notice this has been my go-to makeup look over the last few months I really like this simple um, glowy makeup look, lots of blush, um, fox eye makeup that kind of elongates the eyes with nice pretty natural lashes, a glossy juicy lip. This hairstyle was inspired from her boy shit music video um, and I really like it. I've even used the whole hair claw in the back there. And I think this hairstyle is more mature than my usual half up half down hairstyle where I like tie it up and then I do like that sprout. My skin is literally so flawless. I'm so impressed with how everything looks. I'm like oh my gosh if this foundation lasts like this for hours and hours then yes. So I have been watching Madison Beer's um, live videos. Um, someone on YouTube uploads her Instagram lives and I've learned what products she uses and what techniques she likes. Um, so yeah I've actually gained a little bit of insight into her makeup and how she does things so this isn't just me being like oh here yeah, this is how I do it like I'm actually using the techniques she does and the products that she uses um so if you do like this video then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already please 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 subscribe oh, I would love you guys forever um and I upload every Saturday at 8 a.m new zealand time I'm always active so if you want to know how to get this Madison Beer inspired makeup and hair tutorial, then just keep on watching. So first, um, I got sent this not long ago. This is the Rimmel London Lasting Finish Makeup Primer. So it extends your foundation up to 8 hours and it also says it's day proof, pore minimizing, even skin tone, skin perfecting, um, and all that stuff. So that sounds perfect. And on my pores, because I have really large pores, I'm going to use a Smashbox photo finish pore minimizing primer this is more like a putty kind of primer and it does fill in all my pores and makes it super smooth around that area so I'm gonna put that on this one all over as well like even in the area where I was gonna put the other primer I'm gonna put that other primer on oh my gosh it feels like I haven't done a makeup tutorial in so long it's so nice to just do these kind of videos because you know I love putting on makeup and I know my style has changed a lot like I don't do crazy dramatic makeup looks anymore like colorful you know colorful makeup looks okay so next i'm gonna use the maybelline superstay 24 hour foundation um so kate manny had it on instagram she's so pretty she was wearing this foundation i asked her what she was wearing because she was so tan and glowy and her face looked amazing and she said it was this foundation so i'm gonna try this out for myself and it was this shade she was wearing my fake tan's not super dark right now it is darker than my face if this doesn't match i'm gonna make it match and i'm gonna blend it down my neck and i'm glad i'm wearing a high top so i don't have to like blend it way down my chest i haven't actually wore this foundation like i did get a big set from maybelline ages ago when i used to be on their pr list oh those were the days when they used to be with ppr that um pr company but now they're not with them anymore yeah i got sent this massive box with the whole shade range um it's just down here like all the foundations and all the liquid lipsticks such an amazing send out that was one of my favorites i haven't actually used any of the foundations apart from on my sister when she did bodybuilding competitions and i had to use the really dark extreme orange one because you know how like those bodybuilding competitions they are super orange <laughs> Oh, I forgot the soap brows. <gasps> Before I blend up higher, I'm gonna do soap brows. So this is a new thing that everyone's been doing. Madison even does this. Um, she always has nice full brows. So you take a block of soap and a spoolie, wet the spoolie a little bit and like rub it into the soap. I know it sounds so weird. Like I don't really do this. So I don't know if I'm doing this right, but the like bushy eyebrow hair effect. <laughs> this is what she does. And this is what a lot of people do. 
my god, I don't know if I meant to make this spoolie like more wet. But I almost forgot this step before I blend in the foundation. You don't want your foundation getting ruined from this. As you can see, my eyes are like, my eyebrows are like buffy and they're like going up now. I can't believe I nearly forgot to do that step because you don't want to do that step over foundation or is in it, um, ruin it. She doesn't really like full coverage medicine beer, like she even just uses like a tinted moisturizer or a skin tint, but my skin isn't as flawless as hers. Okay, so now I'm using a um, concealer. This is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, and this was recommended by a lot of people um, on TikTok because it's really hydrating, and it's got a big wand like this. And I've learned a technique to make your eyes look much more like elongated so you put concealer down like this and then you put it like up like that and I'm gonna highlight my face I was kind of do like this kind of situation okay so I'm gonna blend this out and I blend out the concealer under my eyes last because I learn if you use a hydrating concealer and you leave it for longer under your eyes it's actually more full coverage Oh my god, I didn't realize how much wider this concealer was compared to the foundation. Oh, now I'm just blending it out with the other side of the beauty blender just to make that a bit darker. So see, I blended that up and it kind of like gives an elongated effect. And now I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. It's a big name and I accidentally got number one fair which is really light but it still works because I like my under eyes to be brighter so oh, I just dropped it on the floor I bloody hope that didn't break the powder oh my gosh okay it looks like this okay good it didn't break it looks like this this is something that um that medicine bear uses as well and it's really finely milled so it's really good for not caking up under your eyes so i'm going to take a smaller brush this one is from wet n wild look how cool this is it's like a unicorn horn um so i'm gonna tap that in and just set under my eyes i also bake like bake with setting powder i don't know if you guys know what that means and i always set down here down my smile lines because they can crease really badly and then i'll take a bigger brush and put that all over Madison only just set to t-zone like what I did then but because I can get oily I just go in with a bigger brush and just set everything and then I'll just add the glow later I have discovered to look way more flawless and to stop your pores from showing you really need to bake so this is something that Madison Bear doesn't do but I need to do it because everyone's skin type is different obviously so I'm using the Thin Lizzy airbrush veil in light um, I did use the, what was it, Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, but I've run out of that, and it's like 70 bucks, so if you guys didn't know, me and Matthew have booked our wedding, oh my god, I'm so excited, like, we've been together for 11 years, and we've finally booked it for February the 12th, 2022, so it's cool because our da date sounds really cool, it's 12.02.2022, like, oh girl... I'm so excited and it's cool because one of my good friends her wedding is the September so we can like plan together it's so awesome but yeah I'm not feeling stressed about it I used to like find weddings stressful like just the thought of a wedding but now that I've kind of comprehended that yeah we're getting married I like don't care and I'm like not stressed so I'm like oh my gosh this is so good yeah right now I'm feeling good I've got a whole year to plan We've booked our venue. Our venue was so nice. I don't really want to say where we're going until the photos get released. Obviously, my family and friends know. That's going to be exciting, so I'll keep you guys more up to date. I don't know if I'll do, like, wedding vlogs or something. And I also sit here because that's where my pores are. And I've done this before, and it, like, keeps my makeup on so flawlessly. Like, if I bake where just here, like, where my pores are. And it's funny because I'm learning so much new techniques because um, when it comes to my wedding makeup, Sachin's going to do my wedding makeup. Oh my god, I'm so excited. He was on Glow Up for those of you who didn't know. Um, we are so close. We talk online like every day and we've hung out a few times. I wish he lived closer to me. 
Um, but yeah, he's gonna do my wedding makeup and he is so, so talented. Like, he does eye makeup better than I can. Like, flawless work. Um, so yay, I'm so excited. So it's cool that I'm learning new techniques and then I can just tell him like those techniques if he doesn't already know them but you know I'll tell him like what's worked for me and stuff so then he can just do it. I was contemplating doing my own wedding makeup on the day but I was like oh I don't want that stress like I just want to like sit there with my bridesmaids and get ready and not have to like worry about everything and being perfect and like you know like I just I'll be so worried about other things and if the makeup goes wrong like I don't want any of that to happen. Okay so one thing she does use is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand um, and she says a little bit goes a long way and these are amazing. These blend in so nicely and I just get Charlotte Tilbury off Beautylish. No. <laughs> so a little bit goes a long way so I literally just do this. Like I have quite defined cheekbones and when I do this it makes them pop even more so I should really take advantage of that and contour. So next I'm using the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand um, and this is also from Charlotte Tilbury. This is like her favourite product ever, Madison Beer's favourite product and I can see why because it is so nice and I've been so obsessed with blush lately too. put blush here like on this part of my face but I've discovered that it's so much better if you put it like up here because it elongates the face and it just makes it look so much better. So I put it here. And it looks like I'm putting on so much, but honestly, you blend it out. She also likes putting some on the nose because it makes her look like a little cartoon character, apparently. And I do like it there. Like, I've been doing it there now. I'm like, ooh, I like. Okay, so I'm going to blend this in. Oh my gosh, it looks like I'm wearing the heat. Okay, I'm gonna blend this in, and when you blend it, you'll realize that it just fades away. And this adds glow to my skin. Like, I had the most matte foundation, and look at this. It adds such a nice natural glow, so that's why I don't really need to use a glowy foundation because this just adds like the glow on top. This is called the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand, um, and it's like a nice gold color a quite intense gold okay so i'm gonna put there on my chin on the tip of my nose cupid's bow and on the bridge of my nose just here and around like that as you can see very cool i'm gonna oh, i'm gonna blend that in with my finger actually I feel like it won't soak in too much okay so next step she does bronze over the contour that she does so I'm just taking the Tarte Pink Ad Princess bronzer it looks like this um, and my favorite blush uh, bronzer brush this is just from Trade Me it's made out of like goat hair but I find that it just blends so effortlessly like it looks really horrible but the hairs are like tape it at the ends so it doesn't like put it on too intensely and oh my gosh it smells good she said she doesn't contour her nose which she's been trying lately and she does them here I always put it there because I've got quite like a droopy tip so I just put some there kind of like lifts it up a bit and then I put some on the bridge of my nose I've always done this Sometimes I have seen in one of her live streams she does like NARS blush and orgasm. I have that and I really like that blush. So here we go. She likes to look really blushed up, so she puts a little bit on top. And this is a good way to just set that a little bit as well. Like it just sets the cream if you don't want to look too shiny. Yeah, so literally just add on lots of pink. That's like one big step in her routine. Lots of blush. Okay, she has a really defined jawline. So I'm literally going to define mine. Even more like this. She has a really defined jaw and it's made me want jaw filler because it's like such a new popular thing at the moment. Is jaw filler and even if you think you have a defined jaw, you get jaw filler and you're like, oh my gosh. And it gets rid of this like 
sag, but that starts to sag as you get older. Next step is eyebrows. So she only does like the soap brows and that's all I've seen her do because she already has dark, full brows. Mine are full because I've had my microbladed, but they are really blonde. So I always need to fill them in. And this one is lower than that one. Um, and no matter what, when I even get the microbladed, they still don't get them even. Make them stick up more and tint them. I'm going to use the Ico London Brow Gel. This one is really good. It really tints all my hairs. It makes them stick up and I absolutely love this. Mine is running out though, so that's annoying. Oh my god, it definitely makes me want my eyebrows tinted. Yeah, I can't wait to have mine tinted and laminated because I've actually got a lot of blonde hairs in the front. Especially on this eyebrow, so it might actually even them out a little bit. And something that Madison doesn't do, but I just like to do regardless, is I clean up my eyebrows underneath. And I like to really wing the concealer out here so the eyebrow looks more straight. Um, it actually lifts the eye doing this technique. Next is the eyeshadow, so she does use her Morphe Madison Bear palette, but I do see the shades that she uses. I don't have that palette, even though I do want it. I looked on Mecca Maxima online, which is where you can get Morphe from in New Zealand, but it was all sold out, unfortunately. So I'm just going to use my Morphe 3502 palette, Second Nature palette. Um, and use similar shades. So she puts shades like this in her crease, like these colors here. And I'm gonna put that in my crease. So this is what she does. I always do this as well. The shades are like exactly what she uses. Plus this is Morphe as well. So the formula is gonna be the same. She just goes back and forth. And what I used to do is I used to go back and forth and bring it all the way down, but I kind of stop here because it's all about Elongating the eyes, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna blend that underneath. Um, but anyway, she likes taking a small little brush and a dark brown. This looks the most similar to her brown shade in her palette. And she likes elongating her eyes by making a little wing. So in Vogue's YouTube channel, Madison just did a video on her skincare and makeup routine. And um, she said that she likes to draw a little line up and she always like extends the lash line. So just imagines where the lash line would be um, and just draws a line up from that. So it would be like there on me. And she always does a really small wing. I need a new little definer brush. By the way, this one was the Sigma Wind Liner EO6 brush. I need a new one because this one is really tapered and it's annoying because I have to keep squeezing it with my fingers. She also draws in her inner corner. Draw a line. She doesn't do this, but she already has a naturally dark lash line and I don't. So I'm going to take the Thin Lizzy Duo Eye Pencil and I'm going to take the brown side. So take any brown eyeliner in the lash line. I'm just going to really smudge this in. And if you smudge it in your lash line instead of just on your waterline, it will actually last longer because it's going to like stick to the um, lashes. And I'm taking a mascara, so I'm using the Rimmel London Waterproof Scandal Eyes Volume On Demand Mascara. This is waterproof, so it's really good for not smudging anywhere, but I find this formula a little bit too wet, so it always transfers, so I try and be really careful with this. She really likes to highlight her inner corner with a light shade. So I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. So I'm taking Tempera and Glistening. And I'm going to add that onto my brush. Really highlight the area. So I'm going to take some natural individual lashes and stick them on the outer edge. And this helps to elongate your eyes even further. So what I'm taking is the Ardell Lift Effect 745 Lashes. 
So what I've done is I've actually cut them up myself. So you just take a natural looking lash and you just cut them up. So I'm taking the Duo Eyelash Glue and I'm just putting a little dot on the counter just here where I've got my makeup. And I grab my tweezers and I just grab the longest lash from the outside. Okay, so I'll stuck one here. And I'm sticking another one. Oh, you wouldn't be able to tell that I have false lashes. Just adds a little bit of volume, it looks so nice. And you really want to stick the lash like right on the end of your eye. Because that just helps to elongate them as well. I actually find this way better than using just solid lashes because I feel like they look fake. Like, you don't want lashes to look fake, do you? Well, I wouldn't anyway. Okay, so the lashes are stuck on, as you can see. They're just really natural. You couldn't even tell that I had lashes on. After you stick individual lashes on to make it look a little bit more natural, you just grab a liquid eyeliner. I'm just using the Wet n Wild Pro Line Felt Tip Eyeliner in black. And you just literally draw a few dots of this in your upper lash. It also helps to disguise any glue that you might have. Okay, so now we're using her favorite lip liner. She says that she swears by this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Reshape and Resize Lip Liner in Pillow Talk. She says that she goes through so many of these and it um, suits her lip colour perfectly and she can get away with redrawing it. So I'm going to use this. I have used this a few times and I really like this colour as well. So she always overdraws her bottom lip, so I'm going to do that. What's good with my lips is that I've got like a white border around my lips, so if I draw on top of that, it still looks really natural. So I do have the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution lipstick in Pillow Talk as well, but she doesn't actually use this. She only uses the lip liner. She fills in her whole lips with it. Anyway, so she says to make your overdrawn lips look a lot more natural, you take a gloss and you put the gloss over your whole lips, even up to that lip liner. So I'm taking the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson gloss. This is called Shane Glosson. It is clear, but I've obviously put it on top of lipsticks and stuff, so that's why it's a different color. Shiny as. I'm gonna put two setting sprays on because my pores seem to be coming out to play for some reason, I don't know why. I'm gonna take the Dermalogica Clear Start Micro Pore Mist. So this minimizes pores and tones. I should have really done this before foundation. Um, but oh well, I'm gonna do it now. So now I'm going to do hair inspired from her. So I really liked her hair in the boy shit music video. Her hair looked like this. It was classed up in one of those little like clips and her fringe was sweeping across the side. I didn't actually own one of those hair claws. I'm like, oh, how am I gonna do this? But it was like meant to be. I knew it was a sign, but in my benefit package today, I got some PR today from Benefit. Very exciting. Um, one of the new product launches, but in there was this hair claw. And I was like, oh my goodness. It is from the brand Buttermilk Accessories. Oh, it's a bit bright. It is from Buttermilk Accessories. Look how cute this is. And I think this will suit my blonde hair. So what I've done is I've parted my hair in the middle. So that is a good first step. So she's kind of got these bangs. Hers are way shorter than mine. Like hers like up to here. Um, and they kind of like swish out. So I'm going to try and do that same effect. So I'm grabbing here, pulling it to the back. I don't know if this is going to work because my hair is so much longer than hers. Okay, so she's got her hair like, like, piled up like this. So I'm going to grab my hair claw and really, oh my god, I've never really used one of these. Oh my gosh, look how good this hair claw is. That is so cool. Okay, I can't see it myself, but here's the hair claw. And what you can do is you can like pull 
your hair out for volume. Like, I didn't actually think that was a thing with this thing. Oh my god, how cool. I'm taking the VO5 Extra Hold Hairspray, and then I'm, I should have really done this before I put it out, but this will just kind of make it hold a bit better. Like, she's got two flicks over on the front and the other ones are curled. So let's see if I can manage to do this. By the way, for the straightener, I'm using the GHD Platinum Plus, um, which is a really amazing. You can get this from at beautybliss.co.nz. It is a really good straightener that I like to use. I'm trying to create that effect by taking the front strand and kind of pulling it like that. So then it flares out, like in her music video. I'm just gonna grab it and then twist the straightener like this and pull it down. By the way, I did use heat protection last night, so it lasts like until you wash it out again. So it's good for blow drying and styling the next day. As you can see, there's my curl. So if you want something to hold on to, gotta find it first. But here I am. Cause I've been laying under palm trees waiting for the summer knowing there's nowhere to go Okay, all her hair is to one side So I'm gonna put mine to my favorite side, which is this side Yay, so there we go. That is the Madison Beer inspired makeup and hair tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed filming this. It makes me realize that I miss doing makeup tutorials for you guys. If you guys want to see more celebrity transformations, then just let me know down below in the comments. I'd love to do different celebrities that you guys might be obsessed with and you want to like, you know, you want to recreate one of their makeup looks or their hair looks, just let me know in the comments. If you do like this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload every Saturday at 8am New Zealand time. And if you haven't already, please follow me on Instagram and TikTok. It's just Alicia Jones with two S's. I'd love to see you guys there and I might follow some of you guys back. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you guys in my next week's video. Bye.